for problem number one, it asks us which has more inertia, 20 cubic meters of water or 10 cubic, I'm sorry, centimeters, cubic centimeters of water. I'm going to say cc because one cubic uh, centimeter or one centimeter cubed is one cc. So I'm going to say 20 cc's of water or 10 cc's of aluminum, uh, which one has more inertia and if so, how many times more? So to find the inertia, what we want to, what we're interested in is we're interested in the density. And so in your textbook, it says look at the table 9.2. Now table 9.2 is found in chapter 9 on page 318, and it's just the densities of aluminum and the density of water. Now the book that table of densities it says that aluminum has a density of 10.7 times or 2.7 times 10 to the third and water has a density of 1.0 times 10 to the third and the unit of measure of density is always going to be kilograms over meters cubed. The problem is is that they gave us the volumes in cc's or cube, uh, centimeters cubed. So I need to do like some sort of fancy conversion thing on that. And so in order to do that, I think what I will do is convert that to centimeters, okay? So if I convert that to centimeters, what I want to do is I'm going to start with my 2.7 times 10 to the third kilograms over meters cubed. Then I'm going to write one meter cube equals 10 to the six centimeters cubed. And I get that from this, okay? I get this from this picture. One meter cubed is one meter by one meter by one meter or 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters, which is 10 to the second power times 10 to the second power times 10 to the second power. So that's where that 10 to the six comes from. And then I need to convert from kilograms to grams. Well, on the top, I've got 10 to the third times 10 to the third, which is the same as 10 to the six. So those cancel out. I've got meters cubed and meters cubed. Those cancel out. And then I've got kilograms and grams. And so when I'm done, I'm left with 2.7 grams per one kilogram. So two point, the density then of water and aluminum are as such. So the density of aluminum, if I convert the units to grams per centimeters cubed, I get 2.7 grams per centimeters cubed and 1.0 grams per centimeters cubed for water. Those are the densities. So now in order to find the mass, remember that the mass is the density times the volume. So the density for aluminum is going to be the 2.7 times the volume of the aluminum, which was 10 centimeters cubed. When I multiply it out, the mass ends up becoming 27 grams because 2.7 times 10 is 27. That's for the aluminum. Now when I do the same thing for the water, I've got a density of 1 times the volume, which is 20, so I get 20 grams. So the question that they asked us originally was, um, which has more inertia, the water or the aluminum, and if so, how many times more? So whenever you hear the phrase, how many times more, we it's a ratio. So if I take 27 grams over 20 grams, that's a ratio of 1.4. Now what that means is if I have two objects, and I have my aluminum, and that's 10 cubic centimeters. And then I have the water, which is a little bit bigger, right, my H2O. In order to move this, if I apply a force F, in order to move this, I would, at the same acceleration, I would have to, multi I would have to multiply the force by 1.4. In other words, I'd have to push on this 1.4 times more, more force than I would uh, for the same, well, not for the same, for a larger volume of water because aluminum is more dense. Does that make sense? Any questions? Okay, I can, I can sleep with that.